Um, well, when she was born, she, is, she had um, an esophageal fistula, so we had to be transferred to Leeds. And, and when we got there, she was diagnosed with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. And um, after her first operation, she didn't seem to be able to breathe without the ventilator, so they did some more investigation, and she had a, a small section of muscles missing from her trachea as well. And unfortunately, just the, the problems together were, were too serious. So when it came to making the decision... How did you go about it? Was it something that you had to decide on quite quickly? Or? Um, not, we weren't straight away, but, you know, we just... I don't know what it was. We just decided together that we would... we would see if we could help somebody else out of it and, you know, try and get a, a positive out of a negative situation, really. And Minnie Rose... Um, what's her name? Um, mm -hmm. Lovely name. Um, when, when you knew Minnie Rose was very ill, and the nurses had to approach you. Had you discussed ever before the prospect of organ donation? I mean, for example, are you on the list? Are you listed as organ donor? Don yeah, yes. we, we've both registered, and it has. Something... So this is very much part of your ethical, your your way of life, your your thinking, anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I to be fair, I only did afterwards. Amy was more like driven right. towards it. Amy's been for a long time, so, and obviously, I've followed in the. In the path of it, so mm -hmm. but we but we do strongly believe that that is a brilliant. Thing. We actually approached the doctors yeah, about it. Doctors we asked them it. if it was it was possible because um, we we didn't know. And, and the Amy and Liam obviously you know had given it some thought. Is yeah. this is this what people carrying donor cards particularly need to do to discuss with their families? Absolutely, what, yeah. We we need time. people to take inspiration from Liam and Amy. Um, and the rest of the UK to talk about organ donation at home and then to go and join the organ donor register. So when the time comes, the family know what they would have wanted to do. It's a very difficult thing to discuss, though, and it think is. ahead to, isn't it? And I, I imagine as well that there's an onus on the medical staff in the way they approach families. I mean, Amy said that she approached mm. the, the doctors when it came to Minnie Rose, but often that, that cannot be the case. And I wonder, is there any reflection on how grieving families are being approached and then being persuaded almost to, to go down this route? We do a lot of work with, uh, with the medical profession and, and our nursing colleagues. We have uh, NHS Blood Transplant has 250 nurses across the UK working in hospitals with the medical colleagues who um, together approach those families to talk about donation and to give them the option of donation. And Many of them will agree, but unfortunately only 60%, 40 say, 40% of families say no still. So we need the population to talk about it beforehand instead of having to think about it at the time. 